Hello there. I will show you how to download, install, and configure Simba and Wasp scripts today. So let's go to the website. Go to setup and click on this link here. Click on this link here. So we're going to install Simba first. Make sure you get the Windows 32 version. <clears throat> and then let's go to C drive. Let's make a new folder called Simba. Go in there. Let's put our downloaded file in there. Let's go back, put it in there. Okay, just run this now. It's going to give you a warning. Just click on more info and run anyway. This is going to make it so you associate scripts. Say yes. Yes. All right. Now we have Simba. The next thing we need to do is get some uh, libraries installed. First, let's uh, change the view on Simba. First, you can click off notes. Uh, you don't need that. And then let's go to view, turn off console, turn off function list, turn off file browser, and let's drag the layouts like this. And lock the layout. There we go. Now, click on this thing here. Click on plus sign. And let's go back to the website. In the guide, let's scroll down until we find the GitHub link. This one here. Let's copy paste that into here. Click OK. Install button at the bottom. Click on Yes. Wait for it to be installed successfully. Make sure you just make sure that uh, you let it install. Otherwise, it's going to be corrupted. Okay, or it's going to miss files. Okay, now that it's done, we're going to add another library. Uh, let's uh, paste the same thing and change the end of the link to wasp lib. Click OK. Let's install this as well. Wait again for this to be done. Successfully installed wasp lib. Okay, let's click on the plus sign again, paste the link again, and type in wasp-free. Click OK. This is going to get you the free scripts successfully installed. Okay, now we're going to get old school RuneScape client. We're going to need the vanilla client. Uh, you need this to run its so that the scripts run, can run without a problem. On the download page, scroll down and go to game direct download. It's going to download when you press here. Uh, you're going to get an MSI file. Click on that and you just install RuneScape. It's going to give you a vanilla client without anything else. Uh, so we can run the scripts without any problems. Okay, let's go back to the Simba folder and right click Simba, send it to desktop and we can rename it. It's a shortcut so you don't have to go to your C drive every time. And that's it. We've installed uh, Simba and the Wasp uh, libraries. Now, to get scripts, let's go to the website, click on scripts. If you have premium, you're going to have access to some premium scripts. 
If you don't, uh, there's always some free ones. You can filter these out. Or you could just click on any. Let's see. If you go to a free link, uh, free script like this, and here you can download the package, uh, all the premium scripts. Uh, this is all the uh, official premium scripts. Let's let me show you that. Go back to the C drive. Go back to Simba scripts and uh, let's make a new folder called Wasp Premium. And then let's take this and copy these scripts into that new folder we have made. Now you have all the free and premium official scripts. There is also some community scripts you can check out. Uh, you can also download every script that's available. Let's try that. So this one has uh, hmm. this one has most of the scripts. It's still. Uh, sometimes needs an update uh, let's go to for example the community free scripts these are scripts made by the community and can copy these as well if you want could make a uh, new folder called uh, community free just put them in there. There are more options. And if a script gets outdated, you can download the new version on the website. You see here, it keeps uh, all, the, all the versions on the website. Make sure you get the last version. If you download the packages, it, sh it should give you the latest version as well. Okay, now how do you run a script? Let me show you. Click on Simba, click on the client. So if it's your first time, we're gonna open a free script so we can add some accounts to the credentials file so that the scripts in the future can use those account informations to log back in from uh, like a script break or something okay let's for every script you also have to use this target selector if you click and drag it to the uh, runescape client and the output you're gonna get this class name this can be different for you, a different number. And this should be the same as well if you're using the vanilla client. Let's press play. Okay. We don't have accounts right now, but we're gonna add some. Let's go um, test gmail.com. Some random password just to show you how it works bank pin and worlds that you want to log into initially these don't matter too much but it's nice to have click on add and now you have an account added into the system to add more accounts you just repeat the process change the name the password the bank pin and the worlds if you need to and click add again just keep keeps on adding accounts see okay once we have the accounts are um, added you don't have to do that anymore so let me show you how it's gonna start up the script press on start 
it's gonna try it's gonna randomly choose a world and it's gonna try to log in this is not gonna work because you know it's a fake account for showcase all right let me show you now how you run multiple clients you just open another runescape client and for each runescape client you want a simba instance this is to make sure nothing weird happens let's go here we're gonna open a script let's say we're gonna try some free script like um, arrow fisher target the client like this press play this is a different script layout but don't worry just go to account manager choose your account choose your settings and then you can press start here i'm gonna run the other client as well with the first account press start and as you can see it's just gonna start botting for you it's very easy all right now that we have shown you how to install and run scripts i'm gonna show you how to update the libraries and the scripts okay I have prepared an outdated version of Simba for this. Let's say this is your Simba, but there are new updates. Just click open. And how you notice that there is new updates is by running a script. Let's say, let's go wasp free, Ardo Knights, target the clients play and here at the bottom you can see that or or libraries are outdated and our scripts are also outdated and you press play Wait, I, I don't have an account but the point is that you need to updates these libraries you do this by going to the uh, packet manager again here you click on the libraries and you click on check for updates this is the latest version it can find and then you see your installed version and then you can select the new version you want to download there's a new version 1.2.4 that we're gonna install. All right, don't worry about that. I forgot that I need to close that down too. You need to close down the the RuneScape client you injected with, uh, you uh, targeted with the Simba. Let's try again. successfully installed the new update let's go here do the same thing here check for updates click install for the latest version there's an update today as you can see there is very frequent updates make sure you update your stuff successfully installed let's update the scripts as well Click OK, installed. OK, there we go. Let's open the client again. And let's target the client like the. Uh, we're going to close this script because it's an outdated version since we just updated the script. Let's go open the new version. And then target the RuneScape client. Press play and everything is updated if it's green that means you're good to go you're good to go and uh, you can bot 
if you have any questions, make sure you visit the Discord and uh, give in your question in the help chat. And uh, I wish you the best of luck botting and on the gains. I'll see you out there. Good luck.